It's the week of Silver Bells in the city. Crunch time for float builders at the Lansing Board of Water and Light. Lots of hard workers and um, lots of staples. For the last few weeks, Elizabeth Hernandez and about 30 other volunteers have worked through lunch in the evening and on weekends to make sure their float is ready for the big day. This year's theme, Lean Green Energy Machine. There's just so much light, so, many, so much excitement on the uh, many, many faces that are out there. More than 130,000 faces in 2012 to be exact, a far cry from where Silver Bells began. Well, it started back in 1985 by the Arts Council of Greater Lansing with a couple hundred people um, just singing around the Christmas tree. The state tree. The tradition of lighting the state Christmas tree didn't start until two years later. Estimated attendance then, about 5,000, a number that grew to 32,000 in 1994, and it didn't stop there. With the introduction of the electric light parade, that's where you've seen the biggest spike in attendance. The year was 1997. An estimated 50,000 came from across the state to see the first time parade, which event coordinator Mindy Billadu says has remained the event's biggest draw. We want the brightest and the best, the best lights, the most creative, and really sticking to our guns on what we allow in the parade because um, we do want it to be a spectacular light show. And spectacular it is. Did you know every float has to have at least 5,000 lights? BWL estimates its float will have between 5 and 7,000. And in the entire parade, try 330,000 lights. There's also the big fireworks show, which detonates approximately 495 shells. All of it has led to consistent crowds of more than 100,000 for the last several years, the largest of which was in 2009, when 150,000 people packed these streets for the 25th anniversary. And local businesses are getting involved. The peanut shop sells a half ton of nuts during the four hours of Silver Bells and has decided to stop giving out popcorn this year because it can't keep up with demand. And what about all that free cider and cookies? Attendees will finish off about 300 gallons of cider and 8,000 cookies this year. It makes you wonder what it takes to put an event like this on. Over 500 volunteers that are on the ground. It takes eight months of planning to get Silver Bells ready and also over 60 generous sponsors, um, public and private. Most notably, the Board of Water and Light, which has been presenting sponsors since 1998. It's a great representation of just how important we think it is uh, to give back to the city of Lansing. Wrap it all up with a Radio Disney partnership now in its third year and a live broadcast in its second year and Downtown Lansing Inc. has a recipe for continued success. It is tradition that's shared by generations that draws people from around the state. In Lansing, Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News.